Hello everyone and a warm welcome to a uh, short and sweet uh, for my course uh, the Timon of Sicilian. Um, I have uh, covered extensively in the main uh, main course however I would like to give uh, a short and sweet overview of, of uh, what you can expect uh, in my course um, and uh, of course there are many uh, options for move 2, move 3 and move 5 in the course uh, however, uh, since it is short, uh, so I would like to point uh, the main chapters uh, of, of the basis of uh, the Timon of Sicilian uh, in this short and sweet and then we uh, move on to uh, the si side variations and the options for white at various moves. Um, so uh, to me, the uh, uh, three uh, main chapters and three main uh, variations uh, to uh, so the most important to study in this course are seventh move queen f3 uh, English attack with uh, f3 g4 and always there are some f4 moves uh, eighth move f4 and then uh, scavenging in of course uh, um, a cl uh, classical opening which is uh, quite uh, rich in uh, ideas and quite interesting for both sides not just black um, so let's start with uh, uh, queen f3 uh, variation, which is, uh, um, of course, uh, kind of uh, discouraging Timon of Sicilian players to play uh, Timon of Sicilian. Um, I, I do think uh, this is one of the most challenging, but uh, it, does not, uh, it does not prevent or discourage, uh, you know, Timon of uh, uh, Sicilian lovers to play. Uh, this opening and uh, in fact I myself uh, was uh, listening to all this how queen f3 is bad for black and etc only when I started to work on this course uh, I did uh, I, I found out that uh, it is possible to play from uh, black side uh, successfully and uh, uh, in fact um, uh, in the correspondence database there are a couple of games um, I might have uh, missed the recent, the very recent games, but I have uh, checked whatever I had, I, I have in my uh, database. Uh, so let's start, uh, let's start from uh, uh, queen f3, um, e4, c5, knight f3, c6, and all these moves like uh, c4, uh, c3 and all uh, are covered in the course. So d4, c takes d4, knight d4, knight c6, knight c3, queen c7. Bishop e3, a6, and uh, queen f3. So the uh, main uh, point of queen f3 is to go queen g3, uh, exchange this queen, and to have uh, to play a uh, slightly better position because of uh, uh, be uh, spa more space. Um, but this is uh, this is quite complex for both uh, white as well as black. Um, as uh, white also needs to know uh, quite many things and yet uh, he's unsure so uh, in today's uh, online blitz and bullet and uh, uh, rapid uh, uh, events going on uh, I do believe that uh, it is uh, uh, it is critical but uh, it is not something I would expect uh, to be played uh, quite often. Uh, it is true uh, in a classical game uh, I expect uh, queen f3 uh, much more uh, often as uh, you, you know you have time to uh, think about the tricks which black and uh, uh, black has here in this position. Uh, so th th just to give you a small tr uh, trick after queen f3 knight f6 uh, if uh, if some uh, if by chance if someone plays bishop e2 uh, you need to know this trick uh, bishop a3 and uh, after b takes a3 knight e5 uh, with uh, queen c3 and queen a1 so this is one one trick of course um, not uh, uh, not not so difficult for white to see but it is always good to uh, good to know some uh, some tricks and uh, in uh, uh, of course uh, bishop e2 is uh, quite cooperative and uh, white is going to play uh, long castle uh, which is the main move and uh, here uh, b5 fails because of e5 as uh, knight e5 is not possible because of queen a8 and therefore uh, knight e5 is uh, recommended in the course 
uh, queen g3 and now uh, b5 um, and uh, some of the fine, fine points which uh, of course I, I have discussed uh, in the course but uh, always when f4 e5 comes um, black should be ready to play b4 uh, this is something uh, <laughs> I, I probably mentioned uh, more than uh, 10, 10 times in the course um, so after b5 knight takes b5 uh, a takes b5 knight b5 queen b8 uh, bishop d4 d6 queen uh, bishop e5 d takes e5 queen c3 might uh, appear uh, quite dangerous but uh, black need to know uh, the following move knight e4 uh, queen c6 king e7 queen e4 rook e2 um, in fact knight e4 not only uh, is cap uh, uh, capturing uh, material but also giving the uh, giving nice nice square of uh, f6 where king can uh, hide and uh, uh, this is uh, one of the key uh, ideas uh, which black should know in uh, which i mentioned in the course and uh, instead of knight db5 of course uh, black white can uh, capture bishop b5 uh, which is all which is not so dangerous but uh, it is quite uh, forcing so a takes b5 knight db5 queen b8 uh, since the knight is on c3 rook a2 is not uh, so easily available on the other hand uh, since the knight is on c3 uh, queen c3 and uh, knight c7 is uh, not possible for white so there are some pros and cons in this position after bishop f4 uh, d6 of course uh, knight h5 doesn't work as uh, bishop e5 knight g3 bishop b8 uh, knight h1 and knight c7 um, i'm drawing the arrows as uh, uh, it's easier instead of me making a lot of moves and make it a quick starter guide uh, so bishop f4 d6 is the move uh, which i recommended in the course rook takes d6 and knight h5 um, of course uh, you will find why bishop d6 is uh, not good uh, in the course of course it's not very difficult uh, to find it on your own uh, knight h5 queen g5 bishop d6 knight d6 queen d6 uh, bishop e5 and rook a5 is uh, an important move and of course this uh, all these moves have been uh, already tried um, this is not something uh, which is uh, which I have analyzed or uh, which is uh, you know unusual uh, it has been played but I have refined uh, it in in such a way that uh, it would uh, it uh, it would make sense uh, of all these moves and uh, you would be able to remember um, by going uh, maybe it's a weird logic but uh, with some logic um, so of course rook a5 has a clear logic after bishop d6 uh, rook, chief, uh, rook g5 uh, so knight d5 uh, is another funky move but uh, nice move um, of course uh, f4 is uh, also possible which uh, has been which was covered in the course so knight d5 and now uh, queen d7 so you can see that the position is quite uh, messy here and um, it, it's a lot of tactics and uh, i i think that uh, uh, when you find uh, it it's it's also a kind of tactical course after uh, such a position as uh, uh, one has to uh, understand what's the point of uh, both sides uh, uh, moves and uh, it's not just remembering uh, you know um, going uh, playing knight d5 queen d7 and uh, you must know what's why a certain move uh, was played uh, for example if you play queen d8 uh, white can take on d8 uh, king d8 and bishop c7 followed by bishop a5 so uh, th th that's uh, uh, and and it would be not uh, so pleasant so uh, there are uh, lots of ideas which uh, you need to uh, remember and um, and basically to understand uh, that uh, um, these are not uh, something which uh, you not only uh, train remember but also you need to understand to uh, to be able to uh, fight against something which uh, if let's say uh, white doesn't play the main move but some uh, move which is not good you should be able to refute uh, over the board that is uh, 
that is my main um, main uh, aim of making uh, courses um, of course uh, uh, you are going to remember uh, after certain certain point um, but uh, it's it's not uh, entirely sure how many of these variations you are uh, going to get in a real game um, but my point is that uh, you uh, are going to uh, you are going to refute your opponent in case he plays something uh, suboptimal so that is uh, what i want my students to uh, prepare by uh, making this course in Taiman of sicilian uh, so an, uh, a3 uh, 10 on move 10 is uh, one of the main moves um, of course stopping before um, but also um, th th this move uh, I have uh, not such a great uh, uh, I had a painful defeat again uh, against Maxim Vashalagra from uh, 2019 Bundesliga uh, so here uh, we develop normally with uh, bishop b7 and uh, bishop e5 this is the main uh, idea of uh, you know it's a small idea but uh, uh, since the square on b7 has been occupied by bishop uh, bishop b6 is possible sorry that's a wrong arrow bishop b6 is possible for example a takes b5 knight takes knight db5 uh, queen b8 as uh, black needs to support uh, the knight and then bishop uh, b uh, bishop b6 uh, followed by knight c7 check uh, so that is the point of uh, bishop b5 and uh, here uh, black uh, plays a nice move rook c8 and uh, now uh, b uh, white saves uh, bishop on b5 of course bishop e2 is uh, also possible which uh, i um, i have uh, covered in the course after bishop a4 knight e4 uh, knight e4 bishop e4 Bishop f4, queen a5, bishop e5, queen f4, queen a4, and uh, black is threatening uh, to take on c2. So until uh, here, even rook d2 uh, is more or less forced here. And um, um, I do believe that um, um, some of my uh, colleagues uh, and uh, probably uh, many players uh, have uh, analyzed this uh, position and uh, um, it 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 uh, it is one of the main uh, positions and quite critical. And uh, here I uh, went f6. I played f6 against Maxim in uh, Bundesliga, and somehow um, I ended up uh, worse quite quickly because uh, um, I didn't uh, really uh, I didn't uh, I I was not aware of the um uh, idea which uh, he uh, played in the game and in fact it was uh, uh, it was a very good uh, idea and uh, i quickly uh, got worse position but uh, at the end i i even uh, had a chance to um, uh, hold the game of course it was not a great game by me but uh, then uh, uh, maxim also uh, didn't use the best technique so uh, anyway this game uh, was covered in the model games uh, you can uh, check it in the course so here I uh, uh, my suggestion is uh, to play h5 and uh, the main point is uh, h4 h3 and uh, rook h6 rook g6 uh, is another idea um, it's uh, mainly asking uh, what is uh, black uh, white's next move and uh, uh, this is the uh, this is my suggestion uh, against this particular position and uh, we are going to see a lot of uh, nice ideas uh, in the course in this uh, this position uh, so if we move uh, now to 10th move uh, f4 uh, which is um, which is by far uh, the uh, most played uh, in this particular position and uh, um uh, uh, apart from a3 this is uh, another main line so i consider a3 and uh, f4 on move 10 uh, to uh, to be uh, the most uh, com uh, challenging variations and uh, other moves are uh, not uh, particularly scary just uh, black needs to uh, know how to encounter them so after f4, uh, knight e g4 immediately uh, trying to uh, take the bishop, exchange the bishop. 
uh, bishop g1 uh, h5 here bishop d2 is uh, another move which uh, which uh, which is uh, possible for white uh, so bishop g1 uh, h5 and uh, of course black's idea is to uh, play b4 uh, move the knight on c3 and knight e4 um, it's pretty standard plan uh, in these positions so e5 and uh, here b4 like i have mentioned uh, several times uh, e5 uh, is met uh, with b4 uh, count attacking the knight on c3 uh, so knight b1 uh, knight e4 uh, since the knight went to b1 uh, black places his knight on d uh, e4 and if the knight goes to a4 uh, black can even go to d5 and after knight e4 queen e1 attacking the knight on e4 bishop b7 uh, knight d2 knight d2 queen uh, rook d2 these are the, the all these positions are uh, maybe may new in uh, um, normal games but uh, it is quite uh, uh, played in uh, the correspondence chess and um, and some of the ideas are quite interesting uh, I quite like uh, some of the positions uh, which are appearing from uh, this uh, particular opening and uh, the, uh, uh, the fact that uh, black placed uh, his pawn on h5 knight on g4 might uh, seem a bit weird uh, but uh, uh, most of the time um, black's idea is to get g6 knight h6 knight f5 after oops, after knight f5 g takes f5 and uh, uh, this king is safe on uh, e8 than uh, anywhere else uh, it might uh, seem a bit uh, funny but uh, these are the typical uh, structures which uh, you should be um, which you should be uh, looking forward in uh, this course and uh, and th this keeps a lot of chances for black uh, to play for advantage so knight h6 uh, king b1 g6 and uh, you, as you can see um, uh, white's uh, white has uh, more space but uh, this bishop which i call bad bishop in the course but in fact it's uh, it is a monster uh, bishop once uh, he he's able to come out um and uh, the fact that uh, knight f5 and g takes f5 opening the file for uh, the rook uh, this is quite uh, quite easy to play uh, from black so here uh, white has bishop f2 or bishop d3 bishop f2 is mainly uh, aimed at uh, bishop e7 so white would like to play bishop h4 exchange the uh, bishop uh, dark square bishop and to claim uh, that is better because of uh, the weak squares so bishop f2 we do not play uh, bishop e7 as uh, i mentioned bishop h4 his uh, was uh, um, white's idea so therefore we go bishop c5 and uh, here um, once again there are a uh, lot of variations um, you can uh, you can uh, see in the course and i'm sure uh, you are going to uh, enjoy the uh, ideas uh, for both sides um, and th that is one point I would like to uh, make that uh, I did not uh, uh, chose suboptimal moves for white just to um, just to uh, make um, black's position look good um, but I, uh, I made uh, this course in such a way that uh, white is uh, able to find the best continuations and how to uh, fight against it and only then I believe that you get the uh, pure essence of the time of Sicilian and the structures which uh, which are going to come in this course and uh, the final um, uh, move in uh, in the chapters of Queen f3 which is Bishop d3 18th move instead of Bishop f2 and here uh, we can play Bishop e7 uh, here bishop e7 is possible uh, as the pawn on g2 is no longer uh, protected by the bishop on f1 and uh, since white, white played uh, bishop d3 uh, so after bishop f2 bishop g2 um, white doesn't have much compensation and uh, black has a nice pawn structure here um, black is just uh, just a pawn up uh, so th these are uh, some of the key uh, ideas uh, in queen f3 um, 
if if you see uh, if you uh, see the course and study the course um you should uh, you should uh, remember some of the themes which i have discussed uh, starting uh, from move uh, 6 f4 and so on uh, and uh, here this particular structure is quite an important uh, important one uh, in queen f3 so let's move uh, to uh, english attack which uh, i consider uh, to be um, quite solid at the same time uh, very logical as uh, white is just developing the pieces um, and expanding uh, his king side by playing g4 h4 uh, depending on how black is uh, developing his pieces so queen d2 uh, knight f6 uh, long castle bishop e7 um, f3 and uh, here uh, as i mentioned uh, g4 uh, g5 or g4 h4 h5 and then g5 so we are going to uh, um, we have to analyze uh, all the all these options um, of course the uh, many ideas which i have given in the course uh, should be treated as a guidance and uh, uh, and the themes are something which you also need to uh, understand therefore if uh, uh, some uh, if some unusual move or sub -op optimal move uh, is played by white uh, then you can uh, easily um, you know refute it uh, so f3 b5 and here king b1 is a very tricky move um, uh, you might ask why white is not going for g4 h4 um, so here uh, the point of king king b1 uh, is waiting for bishop b7 here so we because white, black is going to play bishop b7 uh, and here uh, white ha, white plays bishop f4 otherwise it doesn't make much sense um, uh, if g4 knight d4 uh, most likely will transpose into some of the lines uh, uh, fr starting from 10th uh, move g4 so bishop f4 uh, e5 this uh, this following uh, uh, tactics are quite funny even if uh, you are not interested in the uh, learning the uh, whole line you can definitely use it for uh, knowing the tactics in this variation so knight f5 uh, e takes f4 and now knight d5 this is the main uh, main point of white um, and here uh, i also um, looked at briefly knight d5 which is possible to play but uh, if uh, we can keep the piece why why not to keep so knight d5 he takes d5 knight before c4 knight before c4 um white does uh, have initiative but uh, there are some force lines here which uh, black is holding um so i i, I do not uh, i did not recommend this uh, in the course uh, of course feel free to um uh, to study this if you if you like this uh, particular variation and I uh, um, suggest queen b8 and before queen b8 I would like to point one important thing that queen e5 uh, uh, is mistake because knight d e7 knight e7 and knight d6 check uh, forking the bishop on b7 and king on e8 and white is going to get back uh, the bishop on uh, the bishop on b7 and uh, his position is much better because uh, knight will stay on d6 for a very long time so therefore uh, queen b8 uh, to protect uh, the bishop on b7 knight g7 uh, king f8 knight d knight f5 uh, queen e5 and uh, knight f4 so this is uh, the main uh, main position or one of the main positions of af uh, after white sacrifice uh, his bishop and uh, we are going to have uh, lots of uh, interesting ideas and tactics so um h5 is one move which is uh, not uh, quite quite an important one as uh, white was threatening knight d3 queen h6 and so on um h5 g3 and uh, bishop d8 of course uh, d5 is something which uh, i also mentioned but uh, it's not my recommendation if uh, if some of you want to have a fun game you can play it and see knight h4 d takes e4 uh, knight g6 knight fg6 h fg6 knight g6 king f7 knight e5 knight e5 when i was preparing this variation a couple of years ago 
um i was not seeing the uh, computer when i suggested d5 um but uh, i was playing um i was moving pieces over the board and to uh, to me it didn't seem uh, quite obvious that white is just winning here um injun thinks that it is uh, winning for white although he doesn't clearly say how it is winning um but it is not uh, it is not um uh it's not my recommendation uh, however if uh, if you like like to play such positions uh, you uh, can play and uh, you can play and see how it goes for you or uh, you can analyze a bit and then uh, play because if you switch on the engine uh, it is going to say that uh, black is lost so bishop d8 uh, bishop h3 uh, queen c7 um, and uh, now knight d5 knight takes d5 e take queen takes d5 and uh, knight e5 after queen d4 rook h7 so uh, here um, black is gonna get uh, bishop f6 at some point also knight f3 is threatened and uh, yeah this is uh, quite an unclear position and uh, i do hope and uh, that um, you are satisfied with such unclear positions uh, from black side against uh, e4 um and uh, okay white uh, white still needs to prove uh, his compensation for his uh, for the sacrificed uh, uh, piece um so uh, this is uh, this is for um, king b1 bishop f4 and uh, one final note is um, after h5 uh, if white plays uh, just bishop g2 um black plays uh, knight e7 immediately asking uh, where this knight on f5 uh, is going to go uh, knight h4 and uh, a5 uh, expanding um, black's uh, i mean queen side um and slowly uh, to threaten a4 uh, a3 and since the knight on h4 uh, doesn't uh, really uh, you know threaten anything uh white needs to uh, move his knight on f4 and uh, this is just a normal game and uh, you can uh, you you know you can try this out and uh, see how you feel it uh, because in these lines uh, uh, playing games and uh, uh, revising these variations are quite uh, important and uh, that uh, brings us uh, to 10th move uh, g4 uh so g4 like i said um uh, uh, it's in normal uh, way of attacking against many sicilians so this setup you would see uh, in uh, knight of uh, or some um uh, not sveshniko of course um and some kind of uh, queen b6 queen c7 ideas and many many sicilians you are going to see this kind of uh, setup um so after g4 knight takes d4 uh, queen d4 um here uh, like uh, i have uh, mentioned uh, in some other openings but uh, generally bishop b7 rook c8 and bishop c5 uh, is a natural way of uh, developing uh, the pieces for black and of course after rook c8 if um, white doesn't prevent uh, b4 black is going to play b4 so queen d4 uh, bishop b7 king b1 rook c8 and uh, here white should go uh, white should play g5 otherwise after queen d2 just looks like a normal move uh, defending the pawn on c2 um, black plays b4 uh, knight a4 and uh, knight e4 so always uh, there are uh, some um, uh, funky tactics uh, i would say Uh, after f takes e4 bishop e4 um, black is um, threatening to take on h1 and uh, c2 so a move like uh, bishop d3 uh, looks uh, white is not that bad um, but the main point is uh, bishop takes h1 rook takes h1 and queen c6 attacking the knight on a4 and attacking the uh, rook on h1 which i have mentioned uh, in the course uh, so after um, here white can uh, play 12th move uh, g5 so after g5 uh, we play knight h5 king b1 uh, rook c8 as uh, we have seen 
uh, and now queen d2 uh, is fine as uh, we no longer have b4 knight f4 knight e4 uh, now b4 uh, knight e2 uh, and d5 this is uh, an important break in uh, english uh, uh, attack chapters which you you will see in the course and after e5 uh, d4 uh, a, a very important move and a nice theme which uh, which is uh, you, you should just remember this theme, uh, I mean, not always, but I think 90% or 95% of the time, this is uh, the way um, black should go. As after short castle, uh, white is going to uh, sacrifice the pawn on e5. Um, and uh, yeah, bishop on b7 is, you know, our monster is going to be uh, not... Uh, He's going to be uh, he's going to be uh, there for a while, and uh, he really doesn't have uh, any activity uh, here on b7. So, therefore, uh, d4 a key move uh, which uh, I have uh, suggested in the course. Knight takes d4, short castle, and uh, rook f d8, a5, a4, a3. Uh, also, queen e5 is hanging. Excellent compensation and. Uh, uh, you and this is this is uh, something which I really like uh, uh, liked in the whole all time on of courses when uh, black sacrifices the pawn on d4 and gets nice initiative and depending on how uh, white develop black can even think of bringing the knight to f5 or you know queen e5 and so on uh, so instead of uh, um, queen d4 uh, white can try bishop uh, d4 and uh, after bishop d4 2 uh, we play bishop uh, b7 uh, here g5 otherwise uh, it doesn't make uh, much sense you know to play e5 or things like that as f3 is hanging g4 will also fall um, so g5 is the only way uh, to continue uh, I mean you can play h4 h5 too but g5 is more direct uh, after knight h5 bishop e5 this is uh, what I meant direct uh, variation of course uh, so queen e5 queen d7 king f8 queen b7 it might appear that uh, black ha um, black lost a pawn um, but uh, just consider uh, the following that f4 e5 and g5 uh, with black having uh, the bishop on e7 and at some point knight is going to come uh, to f4 and uh, this knight uh, white's knight on c3 uh, cannot go to d5 or a4 or e4 so uh, controlling the squares uh, are very important um, part of the time of sicilian than than material also for me uh, sacrificing material in order to uh, have uh, um, have uh, positional compensation and long-term initiative is a very important thing for me and therefore I find uh, these kind of pawn sacrifices um, uh, fascinating. So here uh, bishop g5 uh, doesn't work um, that well as uh, king b1, queen b8, queen c6 and after g6 rook d7. Uh, king g7 um, black white can take on uh, e6 so therefore um, we should play queen b8 first uh, the difference is after queen c6 uh, g6 uh, h4 defending the pawn on uh, g5 black simply ignores uh, everything goes king g7 uh, rook c8 and somehow brings the bishop to e5 i do not know uh, yet but uh, it's not a, a black's problem uh, as uh, this extra pawn on uh, g5 for uh, c2 let's say uh, means nothing uh, as black is uh, going to have uh, wonderful squares on f4 e5 and at some point b5 b4 might occur so knight e2 rook c8 queen d7 rook a7 Queen d4, just king g8. Do not push uh, e5 and, uh, you know, uh, give the chance for bishop to come by h3. King g8 and uh, excellent compensation. Um, black can try bishop f8, bishop g7 or rook a c7. And uh, uh, this is uh, nice compensation for black here. Uh, so here uh, white can go uh, king b1 
so the uh, tricky part is if we uh, if uh, we play rook c8 uh, as we usually do uh, then um, white can play g5 knight h5 bishop e5 queen e5 queen d7 king f8 queen b7 we have uh, same position but uh, white's king is on b1 and uh, black's rook is on c8 which is in favor uh, of white here so therefore uh, black castles first <clears throat> uh, before uh, playing rook c8 uh, g5 knight h5 and uh, knight e2 um, one of the uh, points of white uh, going uh, knight e2 uh, is to play knight g3 at some point but also knight stopping knight f4 uh, threatening bishop h3 and uh, bishop g4 so since we are not going to uh, achieve anything um, by putting pressure on uh, c2 uh, black plays <coughs> f5 uh, and opening uh, the f file uh, so that you know um, black uh, can put some pressure on uh, f3 um, so the final um, critical move here uh, which has been recommended by uh, grandmaster parimajan negi uh, in his um, in his series of books uh, one e4 and um, of course uh, he, uh, he uh, did great job um, by publishing uh, these books and uh, however uh, it's already quite many years and uh, um, uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, great engines and uh, also their rating has improved significantly from uh, the time of uh, his books uh, however i have to uh, i have to say that uh, the move uh, um, uh, which is uh, given in the course was found uh, over the board uh, while analyzing uh, with my team and uh, later on uh, we checked uh, all the attacking possibilities with the uh, engine and uh, uh, it even helped us uh, uh, with the ideas which we found. So that is something uh, which is, uh, um, I mean, it, it's not only in this uh, uh, variation, but in many uh, openings uh, which I recommended in the course. Uh, <clears throat> many times uh, uh, I, uh, I would first play uh, myself um, uh, over the board to analyze and then we would check uh, with the engine and uh, that way of course um, uh, we get the feeling on how to uh, you know uh, how to place the pieces and also uh, sometimes engine is not good at, uh, at estimating uh, all the uh, attacking possibilities for black uh, of course for white as well uh, since we also need to take that uh, into account um, so let's start uh, with knight c6 uh, d takes c6 g4 short castle um, so this is uh, uh, a better move order than e5 as uh, e5 could uh, give some extra options for uh, white and uh, here idea for um, black is to just get rook d8 e5 bishop e6 and at some point queen a5 b4 so queen f2 uh, rook uh, d8 is uh, still uh, possible but uh, we play first e5 h4 and uh, white is threatening to play h5 g5 and g6 uh, so rook d8 now nothing to worry about bishop b6 as uh, black always has uh, rook d1 check and after rook d8 uh, queen d8 h5 and now h6 uh, now uh, the idea is of course knight h7 bishop g5 and after g5 h takes g5 bishop g5 um, black has knight e4 uh, bishop e oops uh, bishop e7 knight f2 bishop d8 and knight h1 so these are some of the tricks um, g5 hg5 bishop g5 knight e4 um, so, uh, 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 of course, this is uh, this can be uh, also in the tactical course. But all these lines uh, which I am discussing, uh, I have uh, discussed even the plans uh, while going uh, through these uh, chapters. Uh, but of course, we do not have so much uh, time here. 
so after rook uh, 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 black black white can play bishop d3 instead of uh, rook d8 uh, threatening to go uh, bishop b6 rook b8 uh, stopping bishop b6 h5 uh, if uh, white, white plays g5 of course uh, black is going to place knight on h5 uh, then it's uh, easy play for black as bishop e6, queen a5, b4 will come. So h5, uh, bishop e6, uh, g5 and now uh, black must go knight d7 and g6. So all this has been um, uh, recommended in Negi's book um, but uh, he missed this move. Well, I wouldn't call it uh, he missed it but uh, this is the improvement uh, over his recommendation and um, here there are uh, many variations which are quite complex which uh, we uh, which we can see in the course f4 uh, queen a5 uh, g takes f7 bishop takes f7 rook h g1 uh, b4 uh, and knight a4 this is uh, one of uh, one of the funny ideas but uh, uh, quite an important one uh, to not give the possibility for black uh, to open the b file so knight a4 queen a4 uh, f takes e5 uh, queen a2 and uh, bishop h6 and um, uh, uh, when i when uh, these moves were found um, it was uh, great satisfaction you know uh, since uh, one of my team member would uh, play uh, with the help of engine and uh, I had to find uh, some of the moves here um, I'm sure that um, uh, it's it, it isn't that difficult because some of the moves are forcing so you do not have much choice uh, so uh, knight uh, e5 as rook g7 cannot be uh, prevented Bishop g7, uh, queen a5, king d2, rook d3, c takes d3, queen b2, uh, king e1, uh, queen f2, king f2, and knight g4. So this is another uh, crucial uh, check. After rook g4, bishop h5, uh, rook g2, bishop d1, uh, bishop b5, king f7, bishop b8, a5. And uh, black is not worse here as uh, a4, a5, a4, a3, b3, b2 will come. Um, of course, um, this is just to give you uh, an example but uh, you do not have to know all these moves uh, i think some of them are so forcing that uh, you will figure it out uh, yourself and uh, another uh, in important uh, variation uh, is after 18th move g takes f7 bishop takes f7 uh, rook h g1 and king h8 uh, as bishop h6 was threatened f4 uh, bishop f6 f takes e5 knight e5 bishop h6 and b4 so of course don't blunder with g takes f6 queen f6 g takes h6 queen f6 and queen g7 knight a4 uh, b3 uh, typical um, sicilian kind of idea where uh, in order to open up the file uh, black sacrifices the pawn a takes b3 bishop takes b3 c takes b3 and knight d3 rook d3 rook d3 it ends in uh, some kind of uh, if I remember correctly, uh, it, it ends in uh, some kind of perpetual, but this position uh, looks good for uh, black. Um, so there are, um, I mean, CB3 is just a mistake, of course, um, but uh, um, white can play uh, several other moves, which, uh, which kind of, which is uh, uh, equal, but uh, in a practical game, it, uh, it isn't that easy uh, for white to find all the moves um, so that's all uh, for the english attack uh, chapter and uh, let's go uh, move to eighth move uh, f4 uh, which is uh, which used to be uh, quite uh, an important uh, idea as uh, white is going to play e5 and uh, attack the knight and if uh, black plays d6 then the whole setup of the timon of sicilian uh, is disturbed uh, and uh, black would go some white would go something like bishop e2 g4 g5 uh, so therefore after f4 uh, black plays bishop b4 uh, bishop d3 uh, defending the pawn on e4 knight a5 uh, a3 bishop takes e3 queen takes e3 queen takes e3 b takes e3 and d5 
we gave away our um, black uh, bishop pair however we uh, have good control over c4 and if we manage to get our knight to e4 um, it's quite uh, interesting position and uh, after e5 knight e4 uh, knight b3 is the older try um, uh, do not take the c3 pawn uh, after knight b3 c takes b3 uh, knight c3 rook c1 would be uh, nice for white so knight c4 uh, bishop takes c4 d takes c4 knight a5 bishop d7 this is the key point um, and uh, after bishop d4 rook c8 which was uh, introduced by none other than anish kiri um, and uh, great concept uh, sacrificing uh, the pawn on b7 and uh, you know getting the bishop uh, to d5 and a nice uh, nice coordination of pieces thereafter playing f5 g5 which uh, which is discussed uh, in detail uh, in the course uh, so knight b7 bishop c6 uh, knight a5 bishop d5 rook b1 f5 uh, plans like king d7 g5 uh, so e takes d5 uh, has been played by Magnus Carlsen, world champion Magnus Carlsen in uh, in Vikanse against Maxim Matlakov, and uh, he used uh, um, uh, quite an innocent idea, but uh, but uh, he managed to win the game uh, effortlessly, which is usually the case. Um, but I managed to uh, equalize there with uh, simple, uh, actually uh, quite nice idea. So e takes d5, knight b3, knight c4, bishop d4, knight e4, knight c5, knight c5, bishop c5, bishop d7, long castle, long castle, bishop c4, d takes c4, bishop b6, rook e8, rook d4. This is the main uh, point of uh, Magnus Carlsen um, to bring the rooks and uh, since rooks are tied down on uh, h8 and e8, um, then white would simply uh, push his pawns and make uh, progress uh, slowly. I mean, he is not uh, uh, black, uh, black is not in any uh, black is unable to make any progress. So therefore, um, black plays immediately bishop c6, uh, rook c4, and uh, king d7. This is the point. So f6, king e6, and king f7. Um, absolutely nothing to worry and uh, with different color bishop end games with rook on e2 i i hardly uh, i i doubt if uh, white really has uh, serious chances here um so more on this you can find uh, on eighth move f4 chapter uh, so now uh, let's uh, go back few moves and uh, well, we are in starting position of the Timon of Sicilian and uh, here um, f4 uh, sixth move is uh, I believe quite uh, an aggressive try and uh, the fact that it cuts down a lot of options uh, uh, for black and uh, white needs to remember less is quite is what uh, uh, makes it appealing for uh, white side. Uh, so after f4 uh, a6 uh, in most of the cases uh, white castles on uh, white goes uh, long castle and black goes short castle with lot of attacking possibilities and um, um, uh, knight c6 queen c6 bishop d3 b5 queen e2 bishop b7 bishop d2 bishop c5 of course uh, white can also start with long castle as b4 is doesn't work because of knight d5 he can also start a3, knight e7, long castle. So this is the main position after 6, f4. And uh, you might uh, find that uh, knight on e7 uh, is uh, misplaced. But uh, the fact that bishop uh, is not on e7 uh, gives us chance to put the knight on uh, e7. And uh, uh, an important motive which is to play f5 uh, later uh, when uh, white is playing queen h5 e5 or even g4 and uh, uh, trying to play h4 or some attacking moves uh, so therefore um, black places his knight on e7 short castle and here uh, i have analyzed uh, many uh, ideas uh, in the course um, so one of them is uh, h4 um, 
so this is uh, uh, statistically the best uh, scoring move so it's better to know what to do it against it f5 uh, typical idea to block uh, any attack h5 uh, d5 uh, e takes d5 e takes d5 h6 g6 and uh, rook h1 uh, you know to get queen e5 or uh, queen e6 um, rook f7 just protecting the knight on uh, e7 g4 d4 g takes f5 d takes c3 bishop takes c3 g takes f5 this is uh, uh, just an uh, variation to illustrate that black has uh, quite many resources uh, even if uh, uh, white black is uh, under attack and the fact that bishop on c5 and bishop on b7 uh, are doing uh, an excellent job by preventing uh, rooks co to come on g1 or queen on g2 queen e5 knight g6 and uh, rook g1 uh, bishop g1 rook g1 and king f8 leads to uh, strange uh, draw but uh, not uh, not uh, a draw which um, which surprises me as bishop b4 uh, king g8 bishop c3 white doesn't have anything better uh, other than repeating of course black black 2 doesn't have uh, anything uh, so these are uh, some of the strange uh, ideas which um, which can happen and um, yeah to to always uh, watch out when to play f5 uh, when to go for b4 uh, and um, you know uh, it is very important uh, to understand uh, which move to play at what places which i have of course uh, discussed uh, in the course um, so uh, in uh, instead of uh, h4 uh, white can also go uh, queen h5 um, um, ultra sharp move um, but uh, in this case uh, since the pawn is still on h4 and queen is a bit out uh, from defending black's uh, white's king um, we need to play b4 a takes b4 bishop b4 and now a5 a4 a3 uh, is a typical idea queen b6 rook fb8 moving the bishop on b7 and uh, attacking the b2 pawn these are the uh, common ideas and uh, uh, if you remember uh, that you need to checkmate white's king uh, with these plans i think that's uh, that's all uh, for this one so f5 f6 uh, is um, is protecting uh, is stopping white uh, from playing f6 e5 um, so g4 and uh, black starts his counter with a5 e5 a4 uh, e takes f6 rook takes f6 g5 and rook f5 uh, g5 is actually a mistake but uh, if uh, if a small inaccuracy like g5 uh, rook f5 bishop f5 knight f5 um, I would say white is uh, in big risk here uh, it is true black is uh, um, down uh, exchange but once a3 and uh, white's king will be under tremendous pressure in a practical game i think uh, white is going to lose pretty soon here so that's all uh, for sixth move f4 and now we come uh, to one of my uh, favorite and uh, also critical uh, and uh, solid uh, option for black uh, which is Keveningen and um, um, it can be reached also from 6th move bishop e2 and then bishop e3 um, so if uh, if uh, white starts from 6th uh, move bishop e2 then um, black goes black plays knight f6 and if bishop e3 we are obliged to play a6 and uh, after bishop e2 we play knight f6 short castle bishop e7 f4 d6 uh, king h1 short castle so basically uh, white has uh, three uh, or two main uh, ideas in scavengen to um, let's say in this position to get queen e1 queen g3 uh, and king h1 and then to play uh, no, uh, to play as uh, uh, recommended in the course other option is to go 
A4, uh, in which case the structures are quite uh, different. Uh, so King H1 uh, keeps that flexibility after castle, of course, uh, we are going to see A4. Um, here Queen E1, uh, Knight D4, Bishop D4, B5 uh, with the idea to play B4 uh, followed by Knight E4. Queen G3, uh, Bishop B7, uh, A3, Bishop C6, Rook A1, Rook D8. This is the main position. Uh, which uh, I believe that uh, is the main point of my, uh, of this uh, scavenging in chapter in my in the Timon of Sicilian. Uh, Bishop d3 uh, is uh, uh, is not as harmless as it looks, uh, and here uh, we play uh, Queen d7. Um, this is a, a surprising move which I have prepared for my uh, Grand Prix. Um, events in 2017 uh, I also got chance to play uh, Queen d7 myself um, so after Knight d1 I, I just explained uh, the idea of uh, Queen d7 to go Knight h5 Knight f4 and have uh, e5 at some point so Knight h5 Queen g4 uh, Knight f6 here Knight f4 is not possible because Queen g7 is there so knight f6 and uh, queen f3, now queen b7 with the idea to play d5 and knight e4, knight f2 and now knight d7. So knight is uh, not placed well and uh, black can uh, play e5, uh, e takes f4, uh, knight e5 or uh, bishop uh, bishop f6. Um, so this is, uh, this is one of the ideas of uh, black and uh, if white plays queen h3 instead of uh, queen g4 then we can see that knight f4 rook takes f4 and uh, e5 so here uh, queen d7 uh, is doing a wonderful job as if black exchanged uh, the queen and uh, he doesn't even mind uh, sacrificing this pawn as two bishops uh, the double bishop uh, is doing so well it's uh, uh, it it uh, it is uh, more than sufficient compensation for black. So rook g4, e takes d5, e5, nothing to panic, just g6. Uh, e6 might appear that black is lost after f takes e6, it is true, but uh, queen e8 and uh, black has everything under control after e takes f7, queen takes f7. And uh, look at the knight on d1, uh, it really doesn't have uh, squares to come out. And once the bishop uh, gets, once bishop, uh, you know, queen g7 or bishop f6, bishop e5, um, one of the main problems is also bishop d7, which is, um, which is an issue. Uh, white can't move the bishop from d3 because of uh, queen f1 checkmate here. Um, so, yeah, then uh, we move to uh, a4 um, and uh, of course king h1, a4 is on also possible. So here short castle, king h1, uh, rook e8, bishop g1. Uh, rook b8 is uh, a, a typical move. Uh, the white and um, black, uh, black is waiting after knight c6, b takes c6, uh, rook b2 is threatened. Um, so if uh, black plays uh, e5 uh, here, um, he, white can take on c6, b takes c6, f takes e5, d takes e5 and e5. Um, with the rook on b8, um, black would be able to take on b2. That is the key uh, difference. So rook b8, uh, queen e1, e5, f takes e5, d takes e5, queen g3, bishop d8. This is uh, an important move. Defending the queen on c7, uh, defending uh, e5 pawn um, and threatening to take on uh, d4. Um, so uh, bishop d8 uh, is uh, very important and I would prefer black here actually. Uh, so here after uh, a4, king h1, 12th move, bishop f3, uh, which is uh, which is kind of uh, main uh, main idea here. Um, rook b8, bishop d7 uh, ha has already been tried. Um, so I, I recommend uh, knight d4, which is quite rare, but uh, I happened to uh, prepare this position in uh, three years ago and uh, I managed to uh, draw quite uh, easily against uh, Yakovenko. So after queen d4, e5, 
queen d2 e takes f4 so in all the uh, all these structures uh, we go bishop e6 knight d7 and knight e5 so once you get knight e5 um, i do believe you do not need my uh, help uh, you are going to uh, figure it out afterwards as knight c4 bishop f6 bishop e5 and so on um, yeah it's uh, not so difficult to play after uh, black managed to bring his knight to e5 um, bishop f4 uh, bishop e6 like i said rook fd1 and uh, uh, white can also try rook a d1 so uh, uh, the point of playing rook f d1 or rook a d1 uh, is to stop knight d7 knight e5 uh, so therefore uh, uh, white is forcing uh, black to place a rook on d8 and uh, after knight d7 black, white can take on e5 uh, d6 so a5 is a bit careless uh, as knight g4 we do not have uh, we also have uh, knight g4 knight e5 and after h3 knight e5 uh, black has uh, uh, an easy play uh, something to note is uh, uh, that you uh, we are not scared of knight d5 uh, just take bishop d5 e takes d5 bishop f6 with uh, excellent position for um, black and uh, here after uh, h3 instead of uh, uh, a5 white can uh, stop knight g4 um, but uh, h6 um, preparing knight h7 bishop g5 and uh, also there are some more ideas like knight f8 knight g6 knight e5 or knight g5 which uh, we can see in the course uh, so that uh, brings us uh, to another critical and um, um, one uh, i i do not know but many of my friends are not very happy when they face this uh, opening but to me um, black can play uh, several ways um, somehow uh, it got the reputation that uh, uh, it is quite easy to play from white um, i actually do not understand why uh, so g3 a6 bishop g2 knight f6 short castle knight d4 queen d4 bishop c5 bishop f4 d6 and uh, queen d2 h6 so this is a uh, kind of main line uh, which uh, which sort of lost its popularity but uh, it is uh, it is going to be uh, the main line against uh, 6g3 pretty soon rook a d1 e5 uh, bishop e3 and uh, bishop b4 here um, Fabi played Fabiano Caruana played bishop e3, f takes e3, and king e7 is a blunder as uh, rook f6 uh, followed by knight d5 check. Uh, but black can play bishop e6, queen d6, rook c8. Um, uh, of course, you can uh, investigate a bit more uh, in this position as well. Um, although I wouldn't recommend to give a pawn so early for uh, you know uh, lower rated because um, you would want to keep the pawns and uh, play um, uh, no, uh, play uh, normally but uh, also this is possible for uh, black to play uh, as you as uh, you go in depth uh, your engine is going to change the evaluation here. Uh, I recommend bishop b4, uh, which uh, I also played uh, in 2020 Prague Masters against Nils Grandilius. So uh, a3 uh, has happened uh, in my game. Bishop takes c3, queen takes c3, queen takes c3, b takes c3, uh, bishop e6, rook d6, rook c8. Um, I also um, comment, uh, commented a model game uh, for the course and uh, of course I went... Uh, um much more in depth uh, so this is um, this is one uh, crucial line and here uh, knight b5 uh, 14th move is uh, another important chapter which uh, uh, which i believe um, i mean a3 and knight b5 are the most crucial chapters and uh, if you know it uh, it's enough to handle how to play against sixth move g3 so a takes b5 queen takes b4 uh, rook a2 uh, queen b5 uh, bishop d7 queen b4 just rook a6 protecting the d6 pawn and uh, short castle rook fc8 will uh, happen next 
um, and even knight e8 uh, in case uh, white um, you know doubles on the uh, d file so this is uh, fine for black and um, the main uh, the main uh, way how white is going to play is rook d6 not queen b5 uh, short castle and now rook d2 protecting the c2 pawn uh, and now bishop e6 uh, an important move uh, as after queen b5 bishop c4 f3 uh, rook f8 uh, rook fd1 and uh, rook 8 a4 queen b5 rook a5 uh, bishop b6 rook b5 bishop c7 rook b2 uh, with a balanced end game uh, i do believe that uh, it should uh, it should uh, it should be uh, it's not that uh, you are going to shake hands and get up as uh, black uh, still needs to eliminate the c2 pawn which i believe is going to happen in within five moves if uh, if i am not mistaken even otherwise uh, um, black black is actually uh, black can play rook c5 and rook c2 um, so it's not uh, a problem for uh, black here um, black's king is quite safe on g8 and um, yeah so here uh, we have seen uh, bishop e3 queen d2 bishop e3 queen f3 um, f4 uh, g3 and now um, some side variations we are going to see from here on um, i do believe uh, that in uh, in uh, when you prepare a uh, your game you have to consider uh, which time control you are playing and uh, what is the level of the players you are going to face and uh, uh, when you are playing classical uh, you can expect uh, the main lines to happen uh, over the board and when you are playing uh, blitz or um, um, you know shorter time controls uh, you can expect to face uh, uh, not the main variations as um, Often uh, uh, people find uh, uh, people think that when they uh, deviate uh, early, they have th that gives them higher chances. But what I uh, feel is that if you uh, know what you are uh, going to do against sublines, you can face them uh, pretty much uh, pretty easily. So uh, the final uh, sixth move uh, in in short and sweet, which is knight db5. I mean, in the course I uh, I, um, I I covered much more, uh, but uh, some of the lines I had to uh, leave it out. Um, but uh, I just want to give brief uh, overview of uh, um, what you can expect. Um, and I can assure you that uh, there is much more uh, in the course. Uh, queen b8 bishop e3 uh, a6 bishop b6 this is the point of uh, playing knight db5 otherwise uh, it's just uh, wasting uh, tempos for uh, white a takes b5 knight b5 bishop b4 check a very important check uh, otherwise uh, uh, bishop c7 would trap the queen c3 bishop a5 knight c7 queen c7 bishop c7 bishop c7 uh, until this it uh, is kind of uh, forcing after knight db5 and um, here uh, we need to estimate um, white has queen uh, pawn and uh, um, black has you know my favorite uh, two bishops and once uh, black gets knight f6 d5 short castle um, he's at least fine uh, i do believe that uh, with all these knight jumps it's probably easier to play from black side uh, so queen g4 um, disturbing the normal uh, development of black g6 bishop b5 uh, in the course i have covered various bishop moves um, but uh, bishop b5 is uh, one of the critical king f8 uh, short castle king g7 this is the plan uh, for almost anything and uh, get knight f6 and d5 a4 knight f6 d5 um, asking question uh, about this pawn uh, and also if e takes d5 e takes d5 uh, bishop will be out uh, and uh, black pieces will have uh, you know uh, more harmony once uh, the c8 bishop comes into play e takes d5 e takes d5 uh, after bishop e6 knight e5 um, 
it's uh, quite unclear and uh, such positions i usually like to play uh, with uh, with three uh, pieces uh, three pieces versus uh, the queen um so and uh, now we slowly uh, move uh, to move 5 um so move 5 knight b5 um it's not uh, it's not a bad move actually uh, this has been played by several uh, top grandmasters and uh, here white is trying to uh, achieve maroxi structures um, i do not recommend to go uh, into direct uh, maroxi structures without uh, white giving some concessions uh, but some players might uh, feel uh, it's if if you feel that uh, you you like to play maroxi structures it's up to you um, after knight b5 d6 uh, bishop f4 uh, is a funky move but it really doesn't um, it really doesn't work as after e5 um, okay bishop e3 is uh, the main um, move which i have uh, which we we will see in the course um, but a move like bishop g5 um, you know it, it, it might happen that in some blitz games your opponent might go uh, but ju it just loses after queen g5 knight c7 king d8 knight 8 knight f6 and this knight on 8 is not going to uh, go go home uh, anytime soon and uh, just bishop e6 queen king c8 king b8 and uh, just take the knight on uh, a8 um, so c4 is the main move uh, obviously uh, more much more challenging knight f6 knight 1 c3 and one important point to remember is after knight 5 c3 you black do not uh, is not obliged to play a6 so therefore he uh, he plays b6 bishop b7 so he saves uh, uh, i do not know maybe half tempo yeah so knight 1 c3 a6 uh, knight a3 and uh, queen a5 um, there are several tries i also tried to make uh, queen uh, d5 work here um, but i thought uh, queen a5 is uh, pretty simple and straightforward after bishop d2 bishop e7 do not worry about knight d5 uh, as after queen d8 knight e7 queen e7 black is going to equalize immediately after playing d5 bishop e2 uh, short castle again knight d5 is not a threat short castle uh, queen e5 and now uh, black is threatening to take on uh, e4 bishop d3 knight b4 and after bishop b1 already black uh, achieved d5 so once you uh, once uh, um, black is able to achieve uh, d5 successfully um, he uh, he has uh, an easy plan uh, with the bishop uh, on c8 uh, you know coming to c g4 or bishop to uh, e6 so another move um, uh, which is uh, quite uh, popular uh, it can uh, appear from various more orders um, is uh, c4 um, this is also uh, something which um, uh, which is uh, uh, which is preferred by magnus carlson in several blitz and rapid games um, so knight f6 uh, knight c3 bishop b4 knight c6 and uh, uh, d takes c6 uh, might uh, uh, might also be an option but uh, i do not like uh, it so much uh, b takes c6 uh, bishop d3 and uh, e5 otherwise white is going to play e5 uh, a move earlier uh, white couldn't play uh, e5 as uh, knight e4 was possible so short castle short castle and uh, here of course uh, white has uh, several tries um, so bishop g5 and uh, most of the cases black has uh, similar setups to uh, double the pawns on c3 c4 h6 d6 c5 and g5 you know to have a fantastic uh, pawn chain and then maybe bishop e6 king g7 maybe rook h8 h5 so bishop takes c3 or first h6 it really doesn't matter uh, b takes c3 h6 bishop h4 uh, d6 and uh, queen e2 g5 bishop g3 c5 as i mentioned earlier uh, this is pretty solid structure and uh, since the bishop is 
um, you know, there there are some jokes. Uh, if the bishop is, uh, uh, if if there is a pawn on d3, it's much better because it can move uh, to d4. But uh, okay, that's just a joke. Um, but this is fine uh, position for um, black. And uh, the main try is of course uh, queen e2. Um, and after queen e2, we play rook e8 with the idea to uh, get d5 uh, if possible. So knight a4, um, bishop uh, d5 first, and after a3, bishop e7. Uh, this uh, this was played uh, in the game uh, Magnus Carlsen against Kelfen in 2018. Um, c takes d5, c takes d5, e takes d5, e4. Um, sacrificing another pawn, uh, I do not think that uh, someone will capture this pawn. Bishop b5 and bishop g5 uh, is an important uh, tempo, uh, destabilizing uh, the queen from queen on e2 as uh, um, after bishop d7, b5 bishop won't be uh, uh, protected. So queen c2, bishop d7, bishop d7, queen d7, knight c3, bishop d6. And uh, I gave a brief uh, variation after bishop g5, um, knight g4, h3, knight h2, rook e1, and knight f3, g takes f3, e takes f3. Uh, with queen h3 next, um, black is uh, winning here. Um, however, in such positions, I just want to mention after bishop d6, uh, in, in blitz games, uh, I do believe that uh, when black is attacking it is much harder for white to defend and uh, in bullet i do not have to say this is quite dangerous as um, uh, sometimes uh, even uh, knight uh, bishop uh, h2 and uh, you know to have uh, queen h5 knight g4 things um, so yeah just keep in mind and now we uh, move to uh, sicilian alapin which um, which I think uh, is uh, quite important and I I feel that um, um, uh, it's it's uh, in a way easier uh, for white uh, to play as uh, he can play uh, Alapin against uh, any kind of uh, Sicilian. So it's like um, um, saving himself from uh, working a bit harder. Uh, C3, uh, we also... Uh, will reach certain positions from knight f3 e6 c3 uh, so after c3 knight f6 uh, e5 knight d5 d4 c takes d4 and uh, queen d4 so this is one of the uh, variations which deviate from uh, the usual um, variation which comes after knight f3 so i have covered all the variations and uh, it's quite a big chapter but uh, if you study it uh, you are going to do very well from black side so e6 knight f3 knight c6 queen e4 and uh, f5 queen e2 b5 so f5 b5 if you remember uh, you are doing good job against this particular setup queen b5 queen c7 queen e2 and a5 um, always development uh, uh, taking control of the center and um, you know important is to bring the monster out uh, so bishop a6 uh, is coming next and uh, there's nothing to worry and here um, uh, some of the players uh, prefer to play knight f3 uh, and uh, you know uh, usually when uh, people are playing e6 c3 uh, their uh, usual um, setups are knight c6 bishop b5 or d6 bishop b5 so only against e6 they cannot play bishop b5 uh, so therefore, uh, they play c3 or g3 and uh, the, all kinds of things which I have, uh, which is there in the course or even b3. Uh, so c3, uh, knight f6, uh, e5, knight e5, d4, c takes d4, c takes d4, d6. This is the main position uh, which uh, I believe uh, uh, we have. Uh, one has to study uh, to master Alapin. Uh, Alapin, knight c3, uh, knight takes c3, b takes c3, queen c7. Uh, this is a key move, uh, attacking the pawn on c3 and uh, not giving, uh, you know, chance for white to uh, castle soon. And uh, besides that, also knight d7 attacks e5. So 
black is developing his piece uh, pieces with uh, uh, tempo and uh, this is uh, something which is uh, quite important to learn bishop d2 and now knight d7 attacking the pawn on e5 e takes d6 bishop d6 bishop d3 and just b6 bishop b7 short castle uh, at some point bishop f4 will come and uh, it is black who um, short castle bishop b7 rook on castle uh, so rook f d8 uh, rook a c8 uh, bishop f4 are typical ideas here um, so these are some of the fine points uh, in uh, in this variation uh, another main idea is uh, bishop c4 and bishop e7 uh, it is important to remember black is uh, not taking on e5 or playing knight c6 as our main idea is to get b6 bishop a6 or b6 bishop b7 so short castle short castle uh, queen e2 and uh, from my experience uh, i think uh, i can say that white players uh, do love the setup of having queen e4 bishop d3 forcing g6 uh, then bringing the bishop to h6 and maybe h4 h5 queen g4 so since this is uh, an easy way uh, to uh, attack black's king so we continue with our plan b6 uh, and uh, bishop d3 does not work well as uh, knight b4 and uh, if the bishop goes uh, e4, uh, I mean, firstly, I have uh, black uh, can play bishop a6. So queen e4, uh, knight d3, queen a8. Well, uh, you might uh, immediately think uh, what a stupid line I have recommended, but uh, there is nothing to panic as uh, bishop a6. This is uh, this is uh, this is this move uh, is. Uh, you know stopping any um, um i mean it, it one of the ideas of course uh, is to trap the queen uh, but also uh, the rook on f1 is hanging rook d1 and uh, d takes e5 d takes e5 queen c7 um, black is attacking the c1 bishop and uh, knight c6 is uh, an important uh, threat so here um, i do believe uh, black is um, fine i mean more than fine and uh, finally queen e4 um, you might get the doubt why uh, white is not continuing with his plan so bishop a6 so after bishop a6 we have nothing to worry as knight a6 and there is uh, no attack here after bishop d5 which seems quite logical uh, e takes d5 queen d5 all you have to remember is knight c6 this is a very important move and uh, queen c6 uh, is, does not work because of bishop f1 king f1 and rook c8 uh, if when white moves his queen from c6 uh, rook c1 uh, is coming and uh, of course if uh, white does not take on uh, c6 knight b4 knight d3 and uh, black has more than sufficient compensation here so that is all uh, for alapin and uh, now let's move to uh, second move knight c3 so second move knight c3 gives uh, a lot of flexibility for white here um, so uh, he uh, he can try to play close setups like g3 bishop g2 knight g2 d3 or g3 f4 sometime uh, to play knight f3 so any in any case um, uh, he can also uh, play knight f3 and uh, go for d4 uh, transposing into the main lines so here we play e6 uh, we do not care um, um, uh, if, if he is planning to go knight f3 d4 we are okay so after g3 uh, d5 is uh, an important move uh, e takes d5 e takes d5 d4 not giving the chance for white to have bishop e3 bishop d4 is a very important idea which i discussed in the course c takes d4 queen takes d4 knight f6 bishop g5 uh, knight c6 and now white has to move the queen from d4 queen a4 bishop b4 knight e2 and uh, bishop g4 uh, this is uh, uh, these are uh, typical um, uh, moves which uh, which happens quite often in the course bishop g2 bishop e2 king e2 and bishop c3 b takes c3 yes black uh, did give a pair of bishops but in return um, uh, black managed to um, double the pawns on c file 
and uh, 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 and uh, white uh, white can't castle yet so short castle and um, h6 next um, i do believe uh, black is black has an easy play here and knight g2 um, another tricky move so now um, white still doesn't want to show his uh, cards if black uh, decides to play a6 b5 then he would go d4 c takes d4 knight d4 and uh, we do not get uh, the diamond of sicilian so therefore we uh, play knight c6 if uh, white plays d4 c takes d4 knight d4 we are going to see uh, our main chapter uh, g3 uh, d5 e takes d5 e takes d5 d4 otherwise black is going to play d4 so d4 and cd4 this is a very important um, uh, important thing to remember not to allow white to uh, have the option of playing bishop e3 and take the pawn uh, with the bishop and place the bishop on d4 knight d4 knight f6 bishop g2 and uh, bishop g4 provoking uh, white to play either f3 or knight d2 or queen d3 so after knight d2 bishop b4 as uh, we have seen uh, in the previous variation when the queen uh, was on a4 h3 bishop takes c3 since knight c3 is not possible uh, b takes c3 bishop f5 rook b1 and short castle sacrificing the pawn on b7 nothing to worry as queen a5 queen uh, a2 and um, you know, black has this fantastic square on uh, c4 um, so um, black is just doing uh, fine here and uh, there are, i mean we uh, i discussed much more uh, in the course and now uh, it brings to the fun lines um, so we now we have uh, f4 uh, which is uh, an interesting um, uh, an interesting move which uh, quite uh, uh, many players use this and uh, you know to uh, to just go for the attack on uh, black's king here we play uh, d5 uh, e takes d5 uh, knight f6 important to not take with the queen bishop b5 check bishop d7 bishop d7 queen d7 c4 e6 um, one of the things which i noticed uh, while analyzing for f4 is that many times black doesn't mind uh, being a pawn down as uh, black has nice grip on d4 and uh, it isn't uh, that easy for uh, white to develop his pieces um, and uh, black uh, is well ahead in uh, development so e6 d6 d takes e6 queen takes e6 queen e2 queen e2 knight e2 knight c6 short castle long castle so this is the position which i was talking about and black's plan include g6 bishop g7 rook h8 and uh, having knight b4 knight d3 or um, it depends on how white is going to progress obviously as uh, d3 is not that easy for uh, white to achieve here and uh, the final and uh, the most uh, you know uh, i i do not know the statistics uh, on uh, how popular is this uh, move um, on online platforms or uh, um, you know uh, when a game between uh, uh, le uh, lower rated than 2000 uh, but i do believe that uh, many people love to try this from white side and if you are uh, ready for uh, how to play against it you are going to get a nice position out of the game uh, out of the opening so for example b4 c takes b4 a3 and uh, e5 i do not believe in uh, material um, in the sense uh, when uh, we are not taking control of center and also here e5 is uh, uh, in is uh, is also defending the pawn on b4 um so uh, here we in the course we will see many um typical uh, positions which can happen um you know in berlin defense or uh, italian with the just the difference is that uh, pawn remains on b4 without the pawn on b2 um so like for example uh, which we are going to see now knight f3 knight c6 bishop c4 knight f6 knight g5 d5 uh, e, e takes d5 
so this is one of the main uh, main ideas uh, when um, white plays italian and black uh, counters with knight f6 um, but here the key point is that the uh, pawn on b4 controls knight c3 so therefore uh, b5 is working quite well in in the case uh, or if the pawn is on c7 um, white can take on b5 queen takes d5 and uh, possibly knight c3 uh, so bishop f1 and now queen d5 and uh, black is just better as knight c3 is not possible you can uh, move the knight away from h6 e4 or even e4 directly um, so this is the this is a fun line and uh, even uh, in this line i have discussed seriously in in the course um, so that's all uh, for uh, short and sweet uh, um, course uh, well it's chapter um, I, I hope I managed to uh, explain um, uh, what you can expect uh, from the main course and uh, um, I only su uh, my suggestion is that to go through uh, short and sweet and uh, I'm sure uh, you will find uh, many themes. Um, in the video also I, um, I discussed mainly about uh, not just uh, about the moves but also uh, what are the themes you can expect and how to um, how to encounter uh, when uh, 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 when you face uh, unknown situation in uh, in any of uh, the openings which we discuss um, so that's all uh, for uh, sh uh, short and sweet